Amen to the Word of God. What was God's message to you? What is the message that we must relay to children? Should we teach them how to succeed in their studies? Should we train them to follow their desires, make a lot of money, and live comfortable lives? What is the reality for young people today? So many are suffering with mental afflictions and more and more are being prescribed medication for just the symptoms. Young children are even suicidal. Teenagers are addicted to drugs, video games, or sex. Satan is after our children. It's a battle for our future. What we must teach the children is the covenant. First, it is the covenant of creation. So C is for covenant. How did God make man? God created all things and he created man in his own image. We were made to be with God, to worship him and glorify his name. Only when we are in fellowship with God can we be truly happy. So man was like a little king. But this covenant was broken. It was broken in Genesis 3. Satan appeared and tempted man to sin against God. He lied to man to think that he could be happy without God. So man sinned and separated from God. He now only cares for himself. He cares for nothing else. That itself is death and darkness and the reason why the world is full of suffering. The only answer to this is the covenant of Christ. Jesus came into the world as the true prophet. He was without sin and perfectly obeyed the law. Then he died on the cross and he shed his blood for us. He became the true priest who set us free from the curse of sin and death. After three days, God raised him from the dead because he is the son of God. He broke the power of Satan and hell as the true king. This Jesus is the Christ. If we believe in Jesus as the Christ, as our Lord and Savior, God promises to forgive us and save us. This message of the gospel is the most important message and greatest knowledge. I pray that you will focus on this message of Christ and do all that you can to gently, clearly, and continuously imprint this message of the gospel in the children. God bless you.